Hello everyone, my name is Christian from TradeVola, Trading with Know-how and Transparency. Today we want to discuss a new topic, as we discussed last time, the topic of bonds and how to invest in bonds, the video you can also see here. We want to discuss today precious metals. First of all, what is a precious metal, which different precious metals existing and how you can trade them later with the example of ID and the trader block station. But we also want to give you an overview about all different asset classes and how much margin, how much commission or extra fees you need to pay if you want to invest in anything connected to precious metal. So make sure to subscribe to our channel if you're not a subscriber yet. Also leave a like or comment. We would be happy to answer everything as fast as possible. But let's get back to the topic of precious metal and let's go to the screen and see all the details here. Yeah, precious metals are metals that are rare and have a high economic value to various uh, factors, including industrial processes, hedge against currency, inflation, and as a store of value. The most popular precious metals are gold, platinum, and silver. And they are historically used as a basis for money, but today mainly traded as a portfolio diversifier and hedge against inflation. And there's three major facts influencing the demand for precious metals. First of all is concerns over financial stability, fear of inflation, what we have right now, and then the risk of war, what we also have in some regions right now, and we can see here how gold moved since the last few months. How many precious metals are there? We have uh, not only gold, silver and platinum, we also have palladium, rhodium, ruthenium, iridium and osmium. And today we want to focus especially on the precious metal of gold, as it's the most high profile precious metals and has a lot of attention, especially in the US it was uh, until 1971 used as a currency or based on the gold was the currency system and uh, there's a lot of important facts influences also the price of gold and we have different examples where we want to start how to invest in gold what are asset classes where you can participate from yeah the movement of the gold price here we can see first the ETF and the price itself, this is the first thing what I want to highlight, went for all different asset classes what are connected to gold up in the last month. But we want to see what is the commission, how much margin you need, what was the performance, especially here in 2023, what you should prefer if you want to use it for a long-term investment or only for a short-term investment. All these facts we will see now here in our presentation. First of all, we want to start with the gold future. We can see here the symbol for gold future. What is very important to mention that, of course, you can also choose longer expiration dates, but normally if you trade the nearest, it's something what is maximum up to three months, but very attractive when it comes to commission. We only have per contract here. Yeah, in this case, only 0.25 USD. This is the fixed interactive broker fees, what we need, what we use here to compare these different asset classes. Performance in 2023, this number we will see yeah, quite frequently now in the presentation is around 8.5%. Additional cost, you have exchange and regulatory fee, but this is quite low. So the main thing is really the commission. And very important, you only have a margin, what is 1,200 US dollar. Symbol MGC, and then you need the different symbols for the expiration date. Here we can see the chart from the interactive broker future um, of an interactive broker platform. Like I said, the beginning was here, uh, the 3rd of January or the 2nd of January, and then we can see how the price went up to be 8.5%. Next thing is gold as a commodity. This is uh, also called gold spot US dollar. So we have here their yeah, margin what is depending on various factors. We have a different commission here, what is minimum two US dollar. And you also pay 0.1% per year as a storage cost. And here we see 
it went up 9.8%, also because the US dollar moved differently this year, so the percentage or the performance was a bit higher. Some facts for the gold as commodity, especially if you want to trade it with Interactive Broker, you can also take a physical delivery, but the most important thing, if you want to dive deeper in this, this is at the moment only available to residents of the United States and even there are some small restrictions. So for everyone outside the United States, yeah, the gold as commodity with Interactive Broker, I think, is not an option. So we can just skip this. We can also see here the chart, what is pretty similar in all the different asset classes, what we will present today. The next thing is gold stock. There's many different gold stocks. And later on, we will show some of the other gold stocks who also went quite up well this year. This is, I think, one of the most common ones. The symbol is also gold. It's called Barrick Gold Corporation. Here for 100 stocks, you need to have a margin of 460 USD. You pay $1 minimum fee. So you see from the fee side, it's all pretty low with interactive brokers. And as additional fee, you have regulatory fees. But very important here, performance so far the highest what we saw from all the different examples. And later on, I will present you some more interesting gold stocks. Let's have a look at the chart. It looks also pretty similar. In February, everything went down, the gold price as well. And now in March and also in April, we are starting to get or to see new highs in gold prices and as well in different gold stocks. Next thing is gold ETF. Also something you might know it for everyone inside the European Union without the status of a professional investor. You're not allowed to trade this ETF, but also here we have the same percentage of what we saw earlier. It's also included in the minimum fee if we talk about the fixed IV commission and margin required. It's also quite high, the highest so far, what we saw from all the different examples. But of course, the price, as we can see here, it's also comparing to the other asset classes much higher as what we saw before. Then the next thing after the gold ETF, what we saw also at the beginning at the chart, we can see here the same. It's almost at the highest price for this year. And good opportunity for you can be the gold CFD because here the margin is only half of what we had for the gold ETF. Commission is pretty much the same performance as well. And you have also here regulatory fee what you need to know before you invest chart should be exactly the same like what we had in the ETF. So for everyone inside the European Union, the CFD is an alternative to the ETF because uh, there is no restrictions and you can easily trade it in the same way like everything else. Then the last asset class is a gold option here. It's very interesting. The lowest margin we chose here an option till April, also on the ETF. Options on ETFs, um, there's no restrictions. You can also trade them inside the European Union. Minimum commission is one US dollar, if we talk about the IV fixed fee. And very interesting here, the highest percentage, we have 39 cent um, this year from the start of um, 2023. And now we also want to see the chart and yeah, can see here how it moved up, especially now in March. Same what we had in the stock as well. If you come back to the chart, I told you at the beginning, if we take a conclusion out of this um, presentation for short term, I recommend options or even the uh, micro gold future or the big gold future you can also take if you have a bigger portfolio. I think this can be really a good opportunity to participate on a fast movement of the next two, three months. If you really think the price will go much higher, especially in a short period, period of time, if you want to invest in a longer period of time, I would consider really the ETF or the CFD as there is no time value what you have in the option and no other factors what you need to consider. So this is something for a long-term investment 
as you're not a resident of the United States, I think this is the, the best option to, to choose. In the United States, yeah, the commodity itself would be my preferred investment. And like I told you, now we want to see some stocks, what can be also quite interesting. First of all, here is Aquionix Gold Corporation with the symbol EQX. It also went up massive uh, in March and the performance is uh, much better than any gold asset what we saw. It almost, if we check it here, this was the first day of the year with an opening price of $3.35. We have now $5.60, so it's around 80% from the performance from the beginning of the year. We have Alamos Gold Incorporation with the symbol AGI. And yeah, you can see it here from the chart. I think it's pretty clear to see. It started at $10. Now it's at 13 so it's also 30%. And there's many examples more. Maybe one more I can also show you here. It's BTG, B2 Gold Corporation. And yeah, especially uh, the movement here in March. From the percentage uh, side it's uh, much better than everything what we had in the examples for gold assets so i think it was some examples for interesting stocks there's many more and you can see them all also in our different uh, communities in whatsapp or telegram where we highlight these stocks every day when we see them in our screening I really hope it was helpful to see an overview with all the different asset classes, especially if you want to invest maybe in gold or silver, as we show it here in the screen with different examples. If you like to make a comment or any other topic for the future, feel free to leave this here under the video. We would be also happy for any like and we would hope to see you soon in one of our next videos. Thank you very much.